after writing two transformational books myself and supporting many other beings to do the same, I've become enthralled by the deep and mysterious magic that's activated when we choose to say yes to ourselves and commit to the book writing journey. Of course, we want to inspire change and new perspectives in our readers, but the transformation that happens as an author, both throughout the writing process and by actually releasing your book into the world is surprisingly potent. I know I've been blindsided in the most disruptive and delicious ways by some of the changes my books have brought into my life. Writing a book is like casting a spell. Although we can never be completely sure what's going to be unleashed during the process, we choose to do it anyway. This Unbound One is a heroic journey. Each book has the potential to be a magical portal, a doorway to a new world, both for you and your reader. Each book has a very specific medicine that it's here to share with us. And each book gives us the opportunity to alchemize the magnificent imperfection of our experience into gold. The truth is that anyone can write a book. We could all get a few thousand words down and put them together. But what fascinates me is what happens when we allow the book writing process to go deeper. When we say, fuck it, get naked and dive way down beneath the surface letting go of the shoulds and any need to be acceptable, sensible or approved of. What fascinates me is what happens when we make ourselves fully available to being transformed by the very act of writing a book. This is Unbound Writing and this is the process we'll be exploring together here in the Unbound Writers Club. I'm Nicola Humber, author and founder of The Unbound Press, and I help magical beings to write the transformational book they're really here to write at this time. I'm your guide here in The Unbound Writers Club, and the aim of this podcast is to help you to feel supported, encouraged, activated as you embark on your book writing journey. Whether you're a first-time author or have many books out in the world, my hope is that you will find something here to inspire you. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the Unbound Writers Club. Today we are continuing on our journey with the Abundant Author which is this mini series we're doing on the pod over the next few weeks, where we are looking at like the different layers of being the abundant author you are here to be. So wherever you are on your book writing journey right now, like my intention for you is that you get to experience being the transformational author that you are in the most abundant way. And, you know, this is related to my next book, which is coming out in October, The Abundant Author. And it's connected with my intention. This is a really clear part of the vision for myself and also, you know, for us at The Unbound Press is that we get more abundance of all kinds. But yes, financial abundance into the hands of magical beings like you. Because when that happens, the world changes. Yeah, that's what we need. We need more, like I say, abundance of all kinds, but certainly financial abundance circulating amongst and through magical beings, like soul-led, spiritual, however you want to identify writers, entrepreneurs, humans, who are here to make a real change in the world. So that is like the over overarching vision for this work around the abundant author. And today we're going to be talking about the first layer of this process, like really stepping into the abundant author you're here to be, which is around embodiment and intention. And like, I hope you can hear me because it is literally hammering down with rain outside. So if you hear anything in the background, um, it is the rain falling against the window. Uh, my office is up in the loft at Unbound HQ, aka my home. 
<laughs> and there's this kind of big dormer window. And as I'm looking out now, it's very gray. It is very dark, even though it's like, you know, 10, 40 in the morning. And like the rain is lashing down. We are, well, as I'm recording this, we've just moved through a full moon. We're in the eclipse portal. So this episode... And this series really is infused with that energy. So today, like I said, I want to dive into the embodiment and intention piece. And there's two pieces of this specifically. Like there are different aspects, which I go into more in my book. And we'll be diving into all of this in the Abundant Author Activation, which is a new free online event. It's a three-day training that I am hosting from April the 8th, Monday, April 8th. So if you're listening to this as the episode comes out, that is next week. So you can sign up for that to be part of it at uh, unboundwriting.co slash abundant hyphen author hyphen activation. (laughs) It will be in the show notes. But I'm just going to talk about a couple of elements of this today. And the first one is to like really tune into what is abundance. And as part of the abundant author process, like when we think about creating, especially financial abundance, it's easy to get into a place of like going straight for the strategy, that straight for the like, how do we do this? And we can get really bunged up with that. The same as when we're writing our books, when it's like, yeah, but how and exactly like, how is this going to happen? We get very heady and it can like take us out of ourselves. It can take us out of our unbound selves. It can put us into a place of contraction when it comes to abundance. And like, I'm aware that abundance as well can be seen as quite a fluffy word. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, actually. But the invitation is always to start from a place of embodiment and the potentiality of your like truest, most unbound intention. I'm not saying strategy doesn't have a place. It definitely does. And that's part of what we'll be diving into later on in this series. Um, And certainly during the abundant author activation, and this will, you know, strategy as well, unbound strategy, of course, will be a key piece of what we dive into in the abundant author academy, which is a new membership that's launching in April of this year as well. But we really want to be starting from a place of being like who you are on your abundant author journey, what you believe, the energy you embody, how you show up, the intentions you hold, all of these are key. And to anchor into this, like I invite you to get really familiar with asking the question, like what does abundance mean to me? Last year, I was holding space for the Abundant Author Mastermind, a small group of women writers who were journeying with me throughout the year. And, you know, this was a question we absolutely kept coming back to. And what we recognized, like, is abundance. And I know you know this, but I think it's important to remind ourselves it's about so much more than money. Like, yes, I absolutely, as I said at the beginning, I want you to be and feel financially abundant. And I feel like so many of us who are doing this kind of work, transformational, personal development, like personal growth, spiritual work, uh, like magical work, uh, creative work in the world, we have spent a long time often not feeling financially abundant, not experiencing financial abundance, because we've picked up so many messages about what it means to have money and to have an abundance of money. Again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later on. But like, this is my, this is my hope. This is my intention. This is my dream that we all, like, especially you as someone who is doing this kind of work, who is here to write this kind of transformational book or who's written one or who's written many and will be writing many, like I want you to feel financially supported. 
and I want you to be in a state of overflow when it comes to money. But abundance is also a way of being that relates to like to everything, just going to the definition of abundance in the Oxford Dictionary is existing or available in large quantities, plentiful. And that can apply to love, joy, peace, health, time, space, energy, connection with ourselves, with others, with nature. And connection is a huge piece of the abundant author journey, by the way. We'll be talking about that a lot more throughout this series. Like you get to experience all of that. And my, my hope is that you're experiencing an abundance of at least one of those things, or you're aware that you're experiencing an abundance of at least one of those things now. And the more we can be in that energy of abundance, you know, and whatever it is, whatever it is, can you connect with an abundant, an abundant sense of connection with yourself, with others, with nature? And maybe to do that, you get to like walk out of your door and go and find somewhere beautiful outside where you're able to do that. Can you connect with an abundant sense of love in your life or joy or celebrate your health if it feels like you have an abundant of abundance of health? Like whatever it is, what feels abundant in your life right now, how can you connect with that energy? And actually... You know, that idea of existing or available in large quantities, plentiful, like abundance is a generosity. Like generosity is one of our key values at the Unbound Press. So I'm always coming back to like, what, like, how can I be most generous with myself and with others right now? And part of this is like, how can we be most abundantly ourselves? Like to, not just to have an abundance of, but to be an abundance of who we are here to be. Because often when we think about abundance and, you know, think again, we can be quite heady. There's a focus on like having, on getting and receiving more, which, yeah, totally, totally here for that. But what we can also focus on is being an abundance of. So it's not something external that we get to receive that someone gives to us that we have to wait for. Like how about being an abundance of you? Like allowing a plentiful, a bountiful supply of you-ness into the world. Like how does that feel? And I guess like this is the whole like the underlying intention of all of my work around being unbound. It's like unbinding ourselves so we can be ourselves more fully. We can be ourselves more abundantly. We can allow more of ourselves into the world to be expressed. So when you think about that, when you reflect on that question, like how can I be an abundance of me? today? How can I allow more of me to be expressed in my life, in the world? And to be honest, it's not, again, that's not necessarily about doing anything in particular. It's a state of being. Like just reflecting on that question, like I close my eyes as I asked it and I can feel like more of myself, like energetically. I don't even know what the word is. (laughs) I just come into myself more when I ask that question. So whatever I do from this place, like whatever you do from this place, however you be from this place, like more of you is going to be part of that. And people will feel that, that we get to radiate the energy of abundance. We, this, is, this is what I mean by embodying it. And the universe can't help but respond to that. So, and we don't know how that's going to happen. <laughs> But it can't help but have an impact when we allow more of ourselves to be expressed. And maybe that's just a little bit more today. But this is a practice that we get to, that we get, well, that we get to practice, (laughs) that we get to come back to asking that question, how can I be 
an abundance of myself? How can I allow more of myself to be expressed in the world? And, you know, like I said earlier, with this embodiment piece, and there are, there are more, there's more to it than this, but that question is such a good starting place. I'm not sitting back. I'm not talking about sitting back and not taking actions. Although, absolutely, you know, we're cyclical beings and seasons of being can be just as, if not more, powerful than seasons of doing. But we want to have a balance. It's like the, the message is, it's certainly not all about the doing. It's the same with the book writing process. Like you being and you um, spending time in the void and spending time resting and percolating is just as important as the actual writing that you're doing. So yeah, asking yourself the question, how can I be myself more plentifully in whatever situation you're in? How can I invite more of myself forward? And just really notice what happens in your body when you ask those questions. Like maybe it feels edgy and that's okay because, you know, we've been conditioned not to do this. We've been conditioned to hold back, you know, and this is a conversation we get to have. If it feels edgy, this is why it's so powerful to to explore this in community. And again, this is part of what we'll be doing in the Abundant Author Activation, the free training that I'm hosting. I say training, it's a conversation, <laughs> really. <laughs> like I can't teach you anything. Like you know, you know this stuff. Uh, you get to remember it. You get to play with it. But I'm opening up the conversation for us. And the other piece that I wanted to speak about today is when we're talking about embodiment, you know, and this, I guess, is where like any edginess or discomfort or resistance can come in. Like we need to look at any kind of fears, doubts, or old restrictive stories that might be bubbling up for you around abundance and financial abundance, money in particular. You know, it can be a huge trigger for so many of us, uh, soul-led, like spiritually, spiritually aligned humans. I mean, I'm sure that everyone listening to this has done a frick ton of work around money mindset, like until it is coming out of your ears. <laughs> you know, all of this stuff, uncovering and clearing limiting beliefs, looking at where like patterns were formed, like revisiting past lives to discover what might be impacting you. You know, this has been a, such a huge piece of my journey. You know, I held space for women to do this work for a, a long time before I moved into holding space for the writing process and publishing. And, you know, when I first discovered money mindset, because I did not know it was a thing until I started my own business and entered the online space, it felt like a freaking full-time job <laughs> doing this work. And a lot of the time I was making myself wrong. It was like, oh my God, there's all of this stuff. And, you know, it was it was powerful to bring a lot of these beliefs that I held, um, patterns, stories into my awareness. You know, awareness is always the first step to change. But yeah, like I said, I made myself wrong so many times. And when I first started doing this work, it, there was very much a focus on like the individual. I think there still is with a lot of people who are teaching this and holding space for it and not an acknowledgement of the, the systems that we operate within, the oppressive systems that we operate in, like the patriarchy, like capitalism, um, white supremacy. I mean, these are like three of the main oppressive systems structures that we are all operating in like they're a very strong collective aspect to why people may find it more challenging to access financial abundance and why we carry certain beliefs so it's really important to like hold that awareness we do like my my belief my hope is that we get to shift those systems from within and again this is like a key part of I guess our vision at the Unbound Press with the books that we are creating and holding space for and not just that it's not even about the books I'm going off on one now <laughs> it's about it's about the connection and the community that we're creating 
like for me, that is the most powerful thing. Like a community of creative, soul-led, more fully expressed women who are through their very beings creating change in the within even within these oppressive systems that we operate within anyway what was i where was i going off on that i don't know like again this is all part of the conversation what i want you to know i'm not going to dive into like a big piece around like having an abundant mindset like i really want you to focus on the being rather than having to get into the individual stories like and beliefs like we can talk about that that can be part of the conversation that we get to have but what i want you to know is and this is what i've realized we get to access abundance like exactly as we are right now like you don't have to clear every single last limiting belief pattern story before you get to access financial abundance yes it's helpful to have an awareness you know of what's going on for you but you don't have to change who you are like it's here for you right now and I'm not saying that you know just talked about the systems that we operate within so you know there's 100% an awareness of that but my message to you is like the most important thing is to stop any ways that you've been making yourself wrong. And, you know, this is why, you know, we, as part of the process, as part of the Unbound Writing process, and it's part of the Abundant Author journey as well, like we get to acknowledge any fears or doubts or stories that are bubbling up. Like we we welcome them in. It's like, I don't have to like clear you completely, release you completely. And when I say you, I mean my fears, my doubts, my stories in order to create, receive, be who I want to be. Yeah, this it's all, it's all part of me. I just get to invite it in. It's part of me being fully expressed. I get to know it. I get to journey with whatever's coming up with me. And that is not a barrier to me creating, receiving, being what I want to be. And it's the same for you. It is the same for you so yeah awareness is powerful we don't have to be any different in order to access create what we want to create in the world so I think that's the message I'm going to leave with you today I mean I guess I don't know do those two pieces contradict each other no <laughs> like I'm inviting you to be more fully you, to be more abundantly you, to tune into that question, like how can I be myself more plentifully, more bountifully, like whatever word feels good for you. And you know what? Part of that is like acknowledge and being with any of the shit that comes up. You don't need to push it it away or hide it. It's like, no, this is part of me as well. You know, this all gets to be present and this is what enables me to be the abundant author that I'm here to be. So embodiment and intention is where we begin. I haven't spoken so much about intention. I feel like that's something we'll dive into more during the abundant author activation and certainly in the abundant author academy, uh, the new membership. If you would like to be part of the activation and you're listening to this before April the 8th, then you can sign up at unboundwriting.co slash abundant hyphen author hyphen activation. Get your free ticket. Come join us over there. And this, you know, we're going to be diving into more layers of the abundant author journey over the next few weeks as well. So I hope you'll join me for that. Anything that sparked off for you today, any insights and certainly any questions, let me know. Uh, the best place to find me is on Instagram. I'm at Nicola Humber. Always really happy to receive your messages. And yeah, go forth and be plentifully, abundantly you. I'll see you again soon. What do you do when you want to write a book, but the usual approaches are leaving you feeling restricted, pressurized? not at all enough and pretty dry to be honest you find another way of course and if you are listening to this 
my free unconventional book writing guide is going to be perfect for you. It's designed especially for soul-led coaches, healers and mentors who want to write a transformational book without spending hours on end chained to a desk. In it, I'm giving you my unique spin on the top 10 questions I hear from would-be authors and it's going to help you liberate the way you write forever. Download your free copy of the guide now over at nicolahumber.com slash 10, the number 10, 10 hyphen questions.